All right, guys. Well, it's time for the uh, Alpha 2 install video for CM10 by Dragon Killer on the Droid X2. So uh, I'm going to get into it for you guys. Um, as you can see, I'm on stock Android uh, 2.3.4. Um, basically, to install Alpha 4, even though he fixed the recovery system, he wants us to SBF back to 2.3.4. Um, so that being said, I've already done that, and I have uh, re-rooted the or root. I've root again on this device. Um, so that means uh, USB debugging is enabled along with unknown sources, and I have already installed the normal, not the patched, the normal system recovery right here. So let's go ahead and do this. I've already put the Jelly Bean Gaps and CM10 Alpha 2 on my device. So we're going to go to install recovery. You're going to give it super user permission, say allow. And okay. Next step is we're going to plug in our charger and the charger has been pl is plugged into a wall outlet, not your computer. That's important or else it will not boot up correctly and then you hit recovery mode. So this will actually shut the phone off and boot it back up into clockwork mod recovery. Uh, from there we will uh, flash CM10 Alpha 2. So I'll just give it a second here and should come up. I may pause and cut this, but we'll see. All right, we've booted up. So first thing we're gonna do is go down to wipe data factory reset with our volume buttons and we're gonna select it with our power button. Scroll down to yes, delete all user data, select with power again. So it's going to format data, edge extension, all those good things. Didn't take long at all. Go down to wipe cache partition. Select that. And scroll to yes, wipe cache. Select again. And then last, we're going to go to advanced. The bottom here. Select it. Select wipe Delvic cache. Select that. And then wipe, yes, wipe it. Okay, so all three of the big three here are now wiped. So we went back. Now we're going to go to um, install zip from SD card. Select it. Um, choose zip from SD card. Select that. And then I put mine in my CM10 folder. Yours might be in downloads depending on where you put it on your SD card. Make sure it's on your external SD card, not your internal. Um, and then I'm going to select CM10. And I actually have two CM10s in there, so you want to make sure you're on the new one, which is from 10.7, and CM10 2012.10.7. Select it. Go down to Yes, Install. Select that. So this is going to install. Um, shouldn't hopefully take too terribly long. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the Jelly Bean G Gaps. And then reboot, and we'll go through kind of what's working, what's not working. I'll do some testing on it, see if we can get our paid-for apps off the market now, and all those things are fixed on it. And I think he's got camera working. We're going to go through it all and try to see uh, what what all we got working on this thing. All right, guys. Uh, so that was the install of the ROM. So then we're going to go down to choose it from SD card, select. Again, go down to my CM10 folder, which is where I have my GGAPs. So Jelly Bean G Gaps from right there. Select those. Scroll down. Hit yes. Install them. So it's copying over some files. I don't think this is going to take too awful long here. Just a couple seconds. Um, you can kind of see my bar going across the bottom there. So should be uh, should be done quite quickly here. And we will reboot and see what this thing's got. All right, so now we're just going to scroll to go back, select it, and wait here for a second because this always happens. All right, there you go. Reboot system now. And at this point, I'm actually going to pull my charging cable out. You don't have to, but that's what I like doing. Reboot. Put this down. So let's see what we got. Uh, should be our CM10 boot animation, which is the nice circle with Crown Engine mod in it, um, which I always like to see. So we'll let this thing boot up. I'm going to go through a couple settings on it, make sure I got it set up how I want it, and uh, I will go through some testing, and we'll see what we can get, and I'll show you guys that. So hang on.
Boot animation, gotta love it. All right, here it is. I've uh, gone ahead and put in, uh, you know, some of my information, my Wi-Fi things. Downloaded a bunch of applications. Um, I haven't really customized it too much, but uh, this is Alpha 2 CM10 Alpha 2 booted up. As you can see, it is quite smooth and fluid. Um, app drawer. Uh, you got all kinds of stuff here, widgets, uh, all the goodies here. So, I actually have gone ahead and tested this with uh, some of the apps I was having problems with on Alpha 1 downloading from the market. Basically any of the stuff I had paid for and uh, it is functioning. So, all of the app problems that we're having should be uh, fully functional on this build. Uh, also, if you once you get it installed, you're probably going to want to install the patched uh, bootstrap recovery um, so that you can get it back into recovery again. Um, all that stuff should be functioning. Uh, let's also look at uh, settings really quick. We're going to go down to about phone. And again, you can see this is Android version 4.1.1, which is Jelly Bean. And this is the build from uh, 10.07, 2012. So pretty much you have your standard settings in here for Alpha 1. Um, the thing that's new in this, which is very, very cool, is right here. It's called Advanced. All right, it's under Devices category, and it's Advanced. This is added in specifically for our device, um, and it has some options in it. It has HDMI audio, use speakers for audio output, a little checkbox there. Um, it, and, it, and it also has hardware acceleration settings you can get into and it also has use external storage um, so use uh, expanded internal storage for apps and media and it has checkboxes there now this stuff is in here but it is right now in like the experimental phase so it doesn't really function correctly yet but this will be fixed and maybe usable in <clears throat> another release maybe the next alpha or when it goes beta um, so that's really neat it's right here it's called uh, Motorola Droid X2 settings so that's some uh, extra settings in there that uh, Dragon Killer uh, added in for us which is very very neat um, you know you have your system settings status bars all you know wallpaper all hard key hardware keys power menu all those kind of settings are in here um, you know you have your toggles like always up there uh, let's see what else so oh camera we want to test the camera because the camera was not functioning before so let's see all right there we go so um, let me take a picture of something you can't see this right now. So, there you go. Just took that picture right there. My uh, YouTube stuff on my computer. So, uh, there you go. You can tell that uh, it does actually function. Let's go back here. So, camera is in a functioning mode. So definitely a nice little feature there for that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at here, guys. The um, rest of it looks looks pretty good. Um, Alpha 2 seems pretty smooth. You know, we'll have to play with it for a couple days and see if we have any more issues with it. But uh, the biggest thing is that uh, the uh, SD card and allowing you to download your... Um, your paid for apps off the market along with uh, the fixed uh, recovery setup so it should be good I'm gonna go ahead and really quick go in and install my uh, bootstrap recovery so that we are good to go on that um, so again anything on your SD card is actually in storage and then it's SD card one is your SD card just so you guys can see that so I'm going to go ahead and install this. I uh, have to ins fix unknown settings, so unknown sources I should say. There we go. We'll go back. Hit it. Install. Alright, well that's it guys. That is CM10 Alpha 2. I'm going to open this up. And uh, that's the install video on it and a little bit of the settings and what's working and not working on it. So I'll play with it some more and try to update my uh, description if I have anything that's not working. 
Uh, other than that, um, you know, please read the description and it'll have links to everything you should need for this. And we'll go from there. But just remember, SBF, root, normal bootstrap recovery, install ROM, install gaps, reboot. You should be good. All right? Thanks.